Oh boy, here we have it. The folks at Power Electronics, uh, got Dale uh, Parfit, got this thing sent to me. It's a uh, two meter omnidirectional horizontally polarized antenna. And uh, let's take a look at it. Well, there it is. Now, the advantage of this antenna, according to uh, Power Electronics at least, is that uh, it's more omnidirectional than your typical OHO loop or uh, square halo, halo, whatever, because it's got more surface area. And um, not sure exactly how long those are, but they're uh, probably in the neighborhood of a quarter or so length. I'll have to uh, measure it and tell you. And uh, <clears throat> while it's a little bigger, that also means it uh, has a little more capture area. And it supposedly has a uh, more circular pattern than uh, those other antennas, which tend to have 3 to 6 dB, even more sometimes. Uh, uh, call it front to side ratio, or front front and back to sides ratio. So we'll uh, take a look at this antenna later on when I uh, can get set up out in the yard to uh, do some testing of both the um, radiation pattern and uh, we'll take a look at the, at the match in a couple of minutes here. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Uh, we have this bar across here, the black box here, which contains the matching network. We have a uh, rubber band here, to, I presume, to keep the hardware on here uh, on this uh, for, for shipping purposes. This is uh, basically a, uh, a clamp for the uh, mounting of this on a one inch or one and a half inch pipe. And uh, then you see the elements going off here and coming through and you have a uh, length here to adjust up or uh, down depending on what you need. There's a uh, insulator here that goes from here to here and it's about a about an inch and a half across that area. Uh, there's a gap there in other words except for the dielectric of the of the plastic here so you have uh, an inch and a half between these two elements so they're they're separated otherwise they're not uh, electrically coupled. I'll flip this thing over and uh, basically uh, if you look at this thing now you also will notice that, uh, well let me uh, put it up a little bit here, you also notice that uh, here there's a uh, type UHF connector although I, I think you can also order it with an end connector if you wish. There's a gap here with an insulator between and um, so it's a balanced feed and part of uh, what the box does here is both to match this in an antenna, its native impedance is not uh, 50 ohms, and to uh, create balance, a balanced feed, or it's a balance in other words, from a coaxial line to a balanced line. So that's the uh, basic uh, rundown on how the antenna is put together. Uh, because the uh, uh, UHF connector is not a BNC connector and most of my instrumentation has been set up for that. I have a, a box of various adapters here that uh, I'm going to use to set this up so I'll open it up. I know I need uh, a 3 dB pad so I'm going to pull that out. I know I need a 6 dB pad so I'm going to pull that out. Um, I will need this uh, male to male BNC adapter. We'll see why in a second. I will need this uh, UHF to BNC adapter to put on the antenna. So that's the adapters that I'll need. Close that box up. In order to uh, get the antenna away from objects in my room here, because I'm inside right now, this will not be the final tune-up. It'll just show that it is resonant. Uh, I have this cable, which is, I think it's about uh, four feet long, something like that. I, it's it's set up so that it's about a half wavelength at two meters. It does a fairly tolerable job at 220 and also at 432. So that's what this one's set up for. And uh, we're going to use it with our uh, ZFDC 
directional coupler here. I guess I put it this way so you can read it. And this uh, has the right angle connectors on it so that the cable goes away from the antenna when you connect it to the antenna. The output side will, will go to the tracking generator. The coupler will go to the uh, spectrum analyzer input. And the input will be the antenna because we're trying to look at the return loss. Uh, that is, what, what power is coming in from the antenna when you send out a signal to the antenna. So that's how this is going to be connected up. Also, uh, on this in this adapter, I will also put the a 6 dB pad on the uh, output side here, which is coming from the tracking generator over here. That. And uh, the coupler side, I'll put a 3 dB, because it's going to the uh, input to the spectrum analyzer back here. So we'll uh, get that set up here. As I indicated before, uh, the connections here are uh, on the coupler side. We have a, a uh, 3 dB pad here. Oops. <laughs> if I am careful, we will. There we go, 3 dB. Got a 6 dB on the output. So that's the one that comes from the tracking generator, as you see the uh, two match here, because I've got uh, uh, tape marking it. And the ones without tape here are for the spectrum analyzer side, so the 3 dB is on that side. This is open, and as you see, if I've uh, normalized this so that it's at about uh, zero, well, it's at zero. I've got 5 dB per division down this side, 30 kilohertz here, 140 to 150 megahertz here, and the sweep time uh, comes out to about 11 milliseconds, so it's pretty fast sweep time. So that uh, is what we're going to use. I put a uh, an adapter on here, and we'll just plug this thing on. So we are looking at what this antenna itself is doing. And as you see, at uh, 144, 200, which, which is where I put the marker, this antenna is doing about uh, 9 dB, but I'm also very close to stuff. Let me pull it away and move it out here where I'm not touching it. I was touching it uh, as well. So, uh, that, uh... But anyway, as you see, it's a lot better out here. It's... Uh, centered up at 144-200. But if I move it around the room, you see that it is influenced by st stuff around the room. That's a, a way you can tell if an antenna is radiating, by the way, because as it moves nearer or further from objects, you will get more or less return loss because of reflections from those objects. So this is about the best way I can tune this thing up and uh, inside the uh, the room here. Uh, I'll have to take it outside to do the rest of this, but I'm not set up out there today, so I'm going to just do this and we'll stop here for the moment. But as you see, it's got a pretty good return loss, and uh, as long as uh, we're far away from stuff, it's got better than a 15 dB and uh, maybe one and a half to one maximum um, over, well, let's see, this would be 140 Four and then be 145. So you can see it's over a fairly narrow range, but not as narrow as some of the uh, uh, halo type units. So that's uh, that's how it is, and we'll uh, take it outside in a future video and show you what the pattern looks like and what it tunes up to uh, like um, without the uh, stuff surrounding it here. So it'll be on a mast and, you know, off the ground and so forth, not uh, influenced by anything around it.